Hello students, welcome to second class that is biology class. In first class, I have discussed about something that is what is science, what is uh, what is science. Science is the systematic study of knowledge, and what is the different what are the different branches of science? Okay, that is physical science and natural science and so on. But <coughs> in physical science, we have another two more sub branches that is physics and chemistry and in natural science we have another branch that is biology okay in biology we have two more sub branches those are botany and zoology botany botany that deals with the plant biology or plants and then uh, animal biology that is zoology that deals with the animals or animal biology okay in this class we will start the class that is first chapter that is living world chapter first that is living world okay in this class we should know about what is living world okay what is living okay then what are the things which are present in the living world okay or uh, which uh, for what we are going to call living uh, living things or non living things this we must know then what is living okay already you have already studied the living world chapter in your lower classes that is in 8th classes 9th classes and 10th classes in these Three classes. The first biology chapter that is living world is there. Okay. In this continuation part of the first year, continuation part of the first year, the first chapter is also living world. In this chapter, we should know about what is living. First, what is living in the society or in the environment? There are number of organisms are present. Okay. These organisms we should call them as living things we should call them as living things but why should we call living organisms why we, why would we call the those for those living organisms okay for that they should have a specific reasons ignavinadu vandakka jeevi athwa living organism athre prevetti to antandra avaka avrathi adanta vanda gunagalu irukku gunagalu irukku athwa gunalakshana irukku okay in this chapter we should know about first one we should know about what is living we should know about what is living living antandre enu jeevi antandre enu okay jeevi antandre enu anadin prakara yavu tamma sthitava usraratavayo athava jeevi galu yena prakriyana torustava athava yena gunalakshanagalana torustava ಅಂಥ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅಂಥ ಜೀವಿಗಳನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಜೀವಿಗಳು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಗುಣಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳು ಇರ್ತವೆ ಜೀವಿಗಳು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವೇನು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ಕೆಲವೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಗುಣಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳು ಇರ್ತವೆ ಯಾವ ಜೀವಿಗಳ ಗುಣಗಳನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾವ ಗುಣಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾವಲ್ಲ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ನಾವೇನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಜೀವಿಗಳು ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಜೀವಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಗುಣಲಕ್ಷಣಗಳು ಯಾವುವು ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ Uh, to the near the river or water bank uh, anywhere you can go at the near by the water bank there were some frogs are sitting on the stones okay some frogs are sitting on the stones but <coughs> frogs which is sitting on the stone where frog is living thing whereas stone is the non living thing for how you can say frog is living and stone is non living andre enu nee ellaru horagade hogidre antandra onda nadi tadakku hogidre antandra kelavishtu enu irthava kappe galu irthava kappe galu enu madakkava antandra alle hogi ah ee onda kal mele kuntidava kal mele kuntidavaga kappe na nodi nee enu helthiri athwa nee nimma friends yaradu enu madudu kelabodu enu enu antha kelabodu illi nimma enidu idrodu jeevi yavu kal athwa kappe na antha kelabodu avaga enu helthiri obviously enu helthiri nimmu ಕಪ್ಪೆ ಜೀವ ಇರ್ತದೆ ನಂತರ ಕಪ್ಪೆ ಒಂದು ಜೀವಿ ಹೌದು ಕಪ್ಪೆ ಜೀವಿ ಹೌದು ನಂತರ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಕಲ್ಲು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ 
okay this is not the growth growth it has to take place inside growth it has to take place inside but not the surface of the but not it's on the surface okay surface of the material surface material na surface mele nadre adu enagutla growth anta anuskolangilla adu enagutadi ond hanna belavane agutadi bartha ee increase in the mass valare mass valare yena samrathi enagilla kachcha agilla antayidu okay okay first one is growth then second one is reproduction then what is reproduction reproduction it is the it has also having a definition it is a biological process it is a biological process in which in which organisms in which organisms can gives rise to can give birth can give birth to new young ones new young ones bar progenies bar progenies and the reno reproduction and the reno reproduction is a biological process okay reproduction and the reno santana patti okay santana patti kuda eno ಇದು ಒಂದು ಕೂಡ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಕೂಡ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಜೀವಿಗಳ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಹೌದು ಹಂಗಾದ್ರೆ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಬಯೋಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಟು ಬರ್ತ್ ಟು ನ್ಯೂ ಎಂಡ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಎಂಡ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಬಾ ಪ್ರೊಜೆನೀಸ್ ಬಾ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟಂದ್ರೆ ಏನಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಇದೊಂದು ಜೀವಿಗಳ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆ ಜೀವ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಜೀವಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತೊಂದುಗಳಿಗೆ ಜನ್ಮ ಕೊಡುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಮರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಪ್ರೊಜೆನಿಸ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಬರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೊಜೆನಿಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಹಾಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಮರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಓಕೆ ತಮ್ಮದೇ ಆದಂತ ಮರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಜನ್ಮ ನೀಡುವುದನ್ನ ಏನಂತೀವಿ ನಾವು ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಆ ಮರಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಜನ್ಮ ನೀಡ್ತಾವ ಆದ್ರ ಅವುಗಳು ಮರಿಗಳು ಕೂಡ ತಂದೆ ತಾಯಿ ಪಾಲಕರು ಅಥವಾ ಏನು ಆ ಜನ್ಮ ಕೊಟ್ಟಂತ ಜೀವಿಗಳನ್ನ ಹೋಲ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವು ಏನಂತೀವಿ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಹಾಗಿದ್ರೆ it's a biological process in which organisms can give birth to young ones or progenies or offspring offspring of their of their own kind you know of their own kind it is called as reproduction you know it is called as it is called as reproduction ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ and second one is sexual reproduction sexual reproduction <coughs> these are the two main types or two main kinds of reproduction reproduction nagade ikkadu vidhagalu okay one is a sexual reproduction another one is sexual reproduction now we will see separately what is sexual reproduction what is a sexual reproduction okay types of types of reproduction types of reproduction there are two types one is a sexual type reproduction and another one is sexual type of reproduction sexual type of reproduction and it is ಅಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಲೈಂಗಿಕ ಸಂತಾನ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆ ನಂತರ ಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಲೈಂಗಿಕ ಲೈಂಗಿಕ ಸಂತಾನ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೆ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಜಾಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೆವರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಟ
Whereas in sexual reproduction, male and female gametes will going to fuse, and that fused material will gives rise to new and one. That is the main difference between asexual and sexual reproduction. Then what is the difference? Sorry, what is the definition of asexual reproduction? Here it is a also it is also type of reproduction. It is also type of reproduction in which in which in which parents parents will give parents will give parents will give birth to birth to young ones birth to birth to and ones without fusion of without fusion of gametes without fusion of gametes this is the definition of asexual reproduction it is also reproduction it is also type of reproduction but in which parents will give the birth to any one but that any one formed without the fusion of gametic cells without the fusion of gametic cells then we have another type that is sexual reproduction <coughs> sexual reproduction it is also a type of reproduction it is also a type of reproduction but in which parents will give birth to any ones parents will give birth to the any ones here the difference is okay here the difference is with the fusion of gametes this is the definition of this is the definition of sexual reproduction with the with the fusion of with the fusion of gametes this is the main difference between asexual and sexual reproduction now it is the definition for the now it is the definition for the sexual reproduction okay okay students then third character or third characteristic feature that is metabolism that is metabolism then what is the definition of metabolism metabolism of the brain chaya pachaya prakriya hmm chaya pachaya prakriya ante namu metabolism antare kaithi then what is the definition of metabolism definition of metabolism it is defined as metabolism is defined as it is the sum total of this is the sum total of chemical reactions chemical reactions chemical reactions taking place taking place inside the body inside the inside the body it is called as metabolism it is called as metabolism and the reno dehedolage nadithe nadiyuvantaha ella chemical reaction ella andre enu ottareyagi ottare yenu dehedolage yenu chemical reactions nadidavala antha prakriyeyi antha prakriyeyi nam enu antivi metabolism antu heli karithivi then in this metabolism again we have two types okay one is anabolism one is anabolism and second one is catabolism anabolism and catabolism then what is anabolism and what is catabolism it is the constructive process constructive process and catabolism is the degradation process degradation process construction process or constructive process catabolism is the degradation process degradation antandre enu odu hakudu mantra constructive antandre enu cut ta hogudu okay cut ta hogudu for example anabolism example nam kodbekantu antandre synthesis of protein enu synthesis of 
ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಅದು ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಪಾ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅನಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಏನು ಸಿಂಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ synthesis of proteins that is the example for anabolism and catabolism catabolism ke example yavudu idra artha enu degradation antanenu kedudu kedudu antanenu oda hakku anta artha anta process yavudu catabolism adakke yavudu example antanenu respiration respiration is the best example for the catabolism these are the main two types of metabolism metabolism antanenu is the sum total of chemical reaction taking place ಸೈಟಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಾಜಿಯನ್ನು ದೇಹದೊಳಗೆ ನಡೆಯತಕ್ಕಂತ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಒಟ್ಟಾರೆ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆಗೆ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ಮೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಆಗಿ देयर ಆರ್ ಟು ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಅನಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ವೇರ್ಸ್ ಕೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅನಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ನಂತರ ಕೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಡಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಉಸಿರಾಟ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆಗೆ ನಾವು ಏನು ಅಂತೀವಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಕೆಟಾಬಾಲಿಸಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಸ್ಟಾಸಿಸ್ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಸ್ಟಾಸಿಸ್ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಸ್ಟಾಸಿಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಥರ್ಮೋ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಥರ್ಮೋ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಥರ್ಮೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ heat okay regulation means regulate okay regulating the heat from the body okay inside the body we have to regulate the temperature according to the our environment that is called as homeostasis okay that is called as homeostasis this homeostasis also can be defined as homeostasis also defined as it is the it is the ability of the is the ability of the organism it is the ability of the organism to maintain the to maintain the to maintain the <coughs> internal to maintain the internal temperature internal temperature to <coughs> internal temperature to the irrespective irrespective <coughs> external environments irrespective to the irrespective to the irrespective external environments hangare in homeostasis antandre in in greek okay in greek homeo homeo means same okay in greek homeo means same stasis means stasis means to stop to stop or to stand to stop or to stand homeo means same stasis means to stop or stand by that it is the ability of an organism in the ability of an organism andre one jeeviya samartha yava samartha andre yenu namma internal internal andre jeeviya olagade yenu andre heat irutada aa heat anna tamma environment annu parisarakka takkanage hondisukondu hoguvanta andre ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆ ನಾವು ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಸ್ಟಾಸಿಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಟು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಇರ್ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇರ್ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹೋಮಿಯೋಸ್ಟಾಸಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಐಟ್ ನಮ್ ಓಕೆ in next class we will discuss in detail about these three characters okay